horrific scene playing out over that American neighborhood of stuntmen at an air show falling to his death as neighbors looked on. Here's ABC's Rob Nelson now. 62-year-old stuntman Mark Hurdo was a thousand feet in the air when bravery turned to tragedy. They all fell out of an airplane, planes flying really low. Curto was walking along the wing of this biplane during Saturday's Festival of Flight event near Tampa, Florida, when he fell to his death, shocking the crowd. Officials say he was flying too low for his parachute to open, and he plunged into the backyards of a neighborhood below. I knew what happened, and it kind of made me sick to my stomach. I just had to separate myself from it upset me. For both onlookers and the daredevils themselves, flirting with danger is part of the thrill. But this is just the latest example of when those thrills turn tragic. Watch this, Jane Wicker sitting on top of the world. In June, a stunned crowd at an Ohio air show watched as this stunt turned into a fiery nightmare, claiming the life of veteran performer Jane Wicker and her pilot. In 2011, ABC's 2020 talked with wing walker Ashley Battles, whose passion is not dampened by the risks. At this moment, mm -hmm. what are you holding on to up there? A prayer, a wing and a prayer. <laughs> Tonight, there are still questions about whether Curto was an actual wing walker or simply a parachutist. Even still, the FAA told ABC News there are no federal wing walker regulations, though the agency does oversee air show operations. Meanwhile, a Florida community remains rattled. Rob Nelson, ABC News, New York.